Hello everybody and it is finally here. Not the whole thing yet, but we've got a demo that we can look at. Uh, it is my time at a Sandrock. I am so super, super excited. You have no idea to show this to you guys. So let's just jump into a game and get our character created, shall we? Oh. Now, um, those of you that uh, don't really know the, the history, I'm gonna just name my character, Shelab. Those of you that don't know the history of uh, Sandrock, you haven't been kind of following it along, obviously, it is the um, sequel to My Time at Porsche, which was a huge game on my channel. Go check it out if you haven't. And this one, um, they've been working on it, beavering away, and have had some trouble getting, uh, I believe, certain certifications on um, age restrictions and things like that through um, over in China. And I think that's been causing um, some holdups with actually getting early access out. They are still busy just working on the game until they can get it out. Um, and this demo has been brought out just um, as a bit of a stopgap so that we can finally show some content and all that sort of thing. So yeah, super excited because uh, I want, I've been wanting to play this for months. Okay, so, oh, I took away my name. That's not so good. This is character creation, okay, and um, Portia had a quite good character creation, but this is so, so much more in-depth and you can do so much more with it. It's really, really, really cool. Um, so if I head on to next here, you can see skin, face shape, hair, eyebrows, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, facial hair, face tattoo, eyeshadow, blush, lipstick, everything. Loads of stuff. So you can start with the skin. Um, I'm probably gonna go with like, you know, a fairly pale skin because that's like what I am right now. Oh, I'm a little bit more tanned right now. <laughs> but I'm probably quite pathetically pale still. Um, so I could confirm that. But actually what you can do if you want, if you wanted to say have like blue skin, you could absolutely do it. If you wanted to look like a Smurf, and you can absolutely do that, or like one of the aliens from Avatar or something. Uh, pink, yellow, green, whatever. Uh, you can change the tone. Now all sorts of alien. I could actually be full on purple Shelab if I wanted to in this. Uh, I probably will like go with just a, a more sort of human looking skin color. Uh, so to go back you just right click by the way. I think it was this one I liked, wasn't it? Yeah, that's, that's more like it. Uh, I'll probably, I might go with some like funky, um, abnormally coloured eyes. I'll just wait till you see the eyes, they're so good. Um, face shape, you can shove out the cheeks a bit. I might actually do that, because I, I certainly don't have like a, a cute little heart-shaped face. <laughs> I've got some chub chubby cheeks going on. You can uh, widen out the chin. I'll probably just leave it normal. You can lengthen the chin. <laughs> you can uh, chin position is probably from the side so you can make it like sort of Captain Janeway style or like very tucked in that is a Captain Janeway chin isn't it okay so there we are I'm gonna have to like apologize now to, uh, to the actress all right so <laughs> I think I'll just leave that slightly chubby face, um, slightly rounded face. So that looks that looks a lot more like me than uh, with a little pointy chin. I have actually a really square jawline, so you don't always see it. Like in the few pictures that have gone up of me, I always like sort of angle it so you can't see it. It's super square. It's not it's not feminine at all. But never mind. Um, so anyway, uh, you can do the eyebrows, the hair, everything. So ears, I probably want to like maybe bring the ear size down a touch. Or you can have massive ears if you want. You have little ears. I think I go with some little ears. I have fairly little ears, although they will grow as I get older because your ears and your nose never stop growing. That is a fact. <laughs> you can uh, bring them down, bring them up. Leave them in the middle. I'll leave them in the middle, I think. Uh, if we go on to the eyes, you've got all these different pupil designs. Look, how cool is that? You can have heart-shaped heart -shaped pupils. I am going to go with normal pupils, but I did want to show you that. In fact, I do quite like them slightly smaller, so you get a bit more iris colour, because I'm going to change the irises to obviously be purple. Brighten them up a bit. 
Probably about there, I think. Um, and then there's a highlight colour and then there's a pupil colour. So you can kind of go with... Um, I could change that to like a purple. You can actually just use the presets and then and just change the tone from there. So that's a lovely purple eye there. I think that looks very she lab like I'll Brighten it up a touch even. The eye shape you can change. You can bring that in. You can bring the, the bottom in there or you can just leave it in the middle and it'll be a fairly like symmetrical eye shape. You can put them up, down. Again, leave them in the middle. I kind of like them in the middle. You can widen them out a bit. Again, I like them in the middle. Rotation. I do like a, a touch of an upward slant on the eyes. No, my eyes are like that. My eyes are just like straight, if anything, slightly downward. But I like an upward tilt. It kind of looks pretty, I think. Um, you can make them a bit bigger. That is the pupil size, by the way. That is, uh, that's the size of your pupils, rather than the size of the actual eye. You can actually change the size of the eye as well, make that bigger. Now, huge eyes. Okay, um, Kate Mulgrew, that was Captain Janeway. I forgot the name of the actress then. Anyway, <laughs> I owe you an apology, sorry. Um, eye spacing. I think I want that in the middle. I don't really want cross-eyed, but you can do that if you want. Anything you want, you can do, pretty much. It's really in-depth, and I'm... Like, you can change where the pupil is. In the eyes. I don't know if I've ever seen a character grey to do that. Like, be able to change where the pupils are. Um, I don't mean that. I mean the pupil and the iris. Like, whatever they combine are called. But there we go. So, uh, the mouth, this is one of the things that I am not too impressed with. Like, really? My lips are like double that size. So if I want it to look like me, it's not gonna. It's never gonna. I'm never gonna be able to get my lip thickness. <sighs> mouth height, up, down, all around. Mouth size, that's the, the width of the mouth, rather than how thick the lips are. Lip thickness is obviously lip thickness. But that's all you get for mouth, so I'd love to see some more mouth options. Um, I'd love to see more body options, but then I do know that uh, from what I've played so far, it kind of is based on you being a bit of a skinny scrawny runt, so that some of the storylines and stuff are based on that too, so it's like, okay, fair enough. Okay, so. Uh, we can put a bit of blush on. We can have some lipstick. Maybe a little bit of blush. A little blush under the eyes. Across the nose as if you've got a little touch of sunburn or something. I quite like that. I think that that's nicer. I think it's more natural looking blush. Uh, and you can change the colour of it, but I, I won't worry about that too much. I just like a pretty blush to the face. It looks nice. It looks nice. And you've got eyeshadow. And I'd like a little bit. Obviously, I'm going to change up to be purple. I think just a subtle little eyeshadow is quite nice. Could do purple and pink or something. That's actually quite nice. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, and then, did we have... Uh, yeah, there's lipstick, so that's different to the... Obviously, the mouth is all the shape and everything. The lipstick is then... These are all like... Oh, there's some nice face tattoos. I really, really liked. I'll go through them. A little star on your eye. That's quite nice. You can obviously change the colour on it. You could have like Naruto cat whiskers, a little scar going through your face. All sorts, they're so pretty. So yeah, I really like them. I quite like these little sort of wings on the eyes. And I quite like the star. If I had the star, I'd probably make it like a little yellow star. But I think I'm gonna go with, I'm actually gonna go with my character and, um, like 10 minutes of character creation I'm aware but we'll we'll be done very soon <laughs> but I think a purple version but I wanted to just show you like just how much could go with yellow could go with green blue purple pink I think I might go with like a oh the pink just goes into my face that's a nice color I like that 
And then we're just going to do the lipstick and then I'm done, I think. Oh, and the hair. <laughs> I can't imagine if I kept grey hair. No, I'm not going to keep grey hair. Of course it's going to be purple. So I need to change uh, the lips. I'm going to put a little bit of a lipstick on. And it ain't going to be red. I'll just use the preset purples. Actually, would a pink overlay make it look better? I think it would. I think it needs to be a bit more saturated. I think we're good there, actually. Okay, and then... Oh, actually, I can make the lipstick. Haha, this is how we get thicker lips, guys. With the lipstick. That is more like, way more like my... Um, but I'm going to go a little bit more pink over here, I think. Maybe like a dusky pink. That dusky pink. I think that goes better. Okay, and we'll see how it looks when, when I've done the hair. The hair also, I think they might want to be adding some extra bits in. But um, at the moment, you can have this bob. You can have bald or you can have this which is like a little bun. You can then turn the bun into a ponytail if you so wish, and you can also then add bangs to it. Okay, if you have this hairstyle, then you pretty much, um, you can have a ponytail with it. I don't like that too much. I think it looks a bit like you just added a ponytail onto a bob. So that's not what I'm gonna go for. If I go for anything, it'll either be a ponytail, or, and you can also then uh, do the ponytail length as well, which is really nice. Um, so yeah. But don't worry about how long this is, because I will be playing this whole demo all the way through. Do not worry about that. <laughs> but I think I'm going to go with this hair, because I think it's really cute. And there's no way, as far as I can tell, to change the colour on the slide. Uh, but that would be really nice if I could. And let's just uh, change the hair colour here. I might need to do some funky stuff to get it right. So probably the saturation needs to come up. Oh, there we are. That's more like it. Get it a bit brighter. And we'll get hair colour 2 in as well. And hair colour 2, brighten that up a touch, saturate that a touch more. Yeah, the saturation is really helping. And there we are. We have, I think, a perfect purple she lab there. Everything is purple. I mean, would you expect any less? I was so upset in Hoko Life when um, <laughs> I, I made the character and with brown hair and then couldn't change it for until like episode 10 or something. And there we go, we're into the game, okay? So that was such an in-depth character creation. I wanted just to try and showcase it to you because like, obviously they've put a lot of effort into that, a lot. So here we are, we're on the train, we're on the way to Sandrock. Builder is wanted, so this is more like um, Builder is retiring and we're going in to take over the job um, as a more experienced Builder. So we're going to start off with like a very basic workshop, but the idea is that we've had experience elsewhere and it can almost be seen... Oh, who was that? It can almost be seen as um, an extension to Porsche. So you can almost imagine that your Porsche builder has come over to Sandrock um, on, a, on a little quest, so, you know, to take a job. So that's kind of, that's kind of where we're at. You know, Porsche, we've sorted all Porsche out. Porsche's looking amazing. Uh, so now our next chapter is in Sandrock. So there we are, come on Purple She Lab. Yay! Hello! This is my welcome to the town. And it's Mian. Hi there, you must be She Lab. I'm Mian, the other new builder. I just got here yesterday. Nice to meet you. Ah, so we've got like another builder who's come to also help. That's really cool. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. Okay. So the camera is pretty free. Um, you can then sort of... Um, you can't really turn the character unless you run. So you can run to turn the character around. Um, once you start running, it does a, a sort of follow mode, like a turn mode. It, it's a little bit uh, wishy-washy feeling, but... It'll do. So over here. Howdy there, Sheila Van Yan, president of the Sandrock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Yada, yada, yada. I'll be overseeing you and Mian, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me more as a buddy that's your supervisor. 
Yeah, okay. I don't think you're going to be like Mayor Gale. Well, you're not the mayor anyway, but... Who, who are you the equivalent of? Like, who was in charge? Like, the, the... I mean, Anton did a lot of stuff in the Commerce Girls. Probably Anton's equivalent. Only a little bit more senior, I guess. Anyway. Here's Mason. He's retiring. Hence, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you know that already. What am I talking about? Anyway. See that workshop over there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And for other people too, I guess. Well, I am now speechless, Mason. As the... Oh, sorry, I'm now speechless. Mason, as the established builder of Sandrock. Why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Uh, well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I am on my way out of here. <clears throat> my workshop is yours now, Shelab. You may find it run down and dilapidated ill-equipped um, it's certainly those things uh, but you may also find that the place has a lot of uh, heart <laughs> I believe that will suffice may you bring Talisa's to the land now if you'll excuse me I'm off to the blue moon there are only so many more days I'll be able to get my yakmel milk on yakmel milk they're kind of like big like wildebeesty looking sort of cow things um, he was always a bit awkward mind you Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell you a, a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. To start with, there aren't too many trees around. Don't go swinging your axe around too much, it's frowned upon. Anyway, but there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We used it not only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up old world scrap all around here. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your work table. Why don't you try? You two tried making one for yourselves. You'll be needing it right away anyway. When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But you know, no rush. See you there. True, it's pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need just by searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. Okay. Hey, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for you. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. It's literally over there. Don't think I'm going to get lost going in a straight line. Although, maybe. I might do. It's the sort of thing I would do. And we can jump. And we can parkour. We can still parkour in this. It's so good. Mason's workshop. And that will change pretty soon to Dreamweb. Hmm, kind of slim pickings, but at least he did leave you a work table. That should be all you need to make a pick hammer. You know, Sandrock is still well known across all the free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Ah, oh, I hope that that's the hazardous ruins. An old world metropolis sounds amazing. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. See, the reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing so well for itself. Everybody in the Free Cities knows that, but I didn't hesitate signing that contract. I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way, so let's make a promise, builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Whew. Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around! Oh, that was awesome! Yeah, we're gonna make it awesome! We're gonna build it up and it's gonna add loads of stuff to it and it's gonna be so cool. But before we can do that, we're gonna have to <laughs> rummage around in some junk piles. So just hold E to rummage through a junk pile, just in case you didn't know. And there's a junk pile over here and I need, um, the, the quest is over to the right there. I've already got enough wood, but it looks like I'm a little bit low on the stone. We'll have to see what I can find. Ah, there's another one apparently. Oh, this one looks like it's got lo loads of stone in it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that'll be enough. Yeah, it is. So let's go make the pick hammer. So it, it's bright yellow when um, when you don't have enough and then it greys out once you do have enough, just in case that is confusing. Okay, so. Pick hammer. So you can sort your um, inventory, it's just saying there, by item. And uh, then this is your craftable items. Um, you can, that's also like a mission one. So anything that's a mission for you, it will sort it for you. 
Uh, you put quantities over here. And craft to make the item. So fairly straightforward. And I think we now have a pick hammer. Yay! So we just escape to get out of there. Look at me with a pick hammer. It's huge. It's awesome. So yeah. Basically, as I say, um, and, and then you can just go and like whack all the stuff in the yard and, and grab all of that. Pretty nice. There's some wood scrap there. Ah, no. Gather, 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 gather. Did I gather it? I have no idea. Sometimes, like, these, like, crabs come out. What was that? Um, wood scrap. I don't think I managed to. I wasn't really kind of expecting it to be able to gather it. Maybe I can't. I don't know. I'll, I'll keep trying with that. I think we need to go back to Yan now, so... Okay, we'll go talk to you. May as well get all the, the beginning -y missions done and then I can start working on my awesome base. Exploring hazardous ruins, making museums, all this stuff. Although I might not be able to do that in the demo. <laughs> I'll play as much as I can. We'll have to see uh, how much it's allowing me to do. Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It's the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it, but if you do, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Now, let me tell you about the recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make do. Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all kinds of useful items. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open it on the control panel at the assembly station. Ah, okay, so that like connects up, does it? Eh, don't worry so much, you'll figure it out. Come back to the Commerce Guild when you finish, bye now. Yeah, so I'll have to work out the the ins and outs of things. There are some differences. Um, and I've, I've done enough like sort of checking out to, to have gotten around some of the differences, but uh, there's gonna be a few things I need to work out on the way, I'm almost certain. The fighting is is very different. And I'm not sure I've got my head around it yet, so. You can dodge like this, you see, dodge roll. And um, I like that sprint and dodge are not connected to your stamina for like chopping down trees and things. So you don't have to choose between sprinting and chopping down a tree or, or chopping, down, chopping up junk, I guess, because I don't think we're allowed to chop down trees anymore. So if I interact here, this is your assembly station handbook. It keeps track of all the large machines you can make right now. The only thing you can make is a level one recycler. Okay, and you can open a diagram to check what you need to build the machine and how to get the materials. So you can make need to make two stone troughs, get three pieces of wood, and using eight DNAS, which is kind of like, I believe it's like a gravelly sort of sandy thing. It's not quite sand, it's like more coarse than sand. And stone, and use that to make grinding saws. So at the moment, I don't have the materials I need. So we're gonna, oh, hang on. I do not want to skip the tutorial, no. Click here to start making the recycler. What? Okay, so it's very much like um, a Porsche in that you get a ghost of what you need to make. So uh, I can now go around and gather all the resources and pop them in. The, the difference is you add them with right click and it'll give you like um, some options on what sort of quality of material you want to use. Oh, look, a tumbleweed. <laughs> so let's go and find some rocks so we can maybe, um, is, is it wood we're short on? Okay, it's wood we're short on. So let's go and pick up a sandworm. Did I gather a sandworm then? Oh, I probably need to hold E a bit longer. There we are. No, there we are, I picked up a sandworm, awesome. Da, 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 da. I am now more healthy. I have more attack points. Okay, so I've got enough wood. I think I probably need some more stone. Let's go and have a look. See if I can chop this. This is called a hard rock. I need a better tool for that one. What about these rocks here? That's gravel. So it looks like gravel is fine. We can chop through gravel. 
But obviously, bear in mind, my stamina down the bottom there will not last forever. But probably for what we're doing now, it's fine. I imagine later on we'll be able to make food and all that sort of thing. So let's see if we've got enough now to make um, the stone troughs. So I already own one and I can make two, but I only want to make one because I need two. So there, we've made one and I need to make two grinding saws. I can only make one, so let's make one. And then I need a little bit more of that uh, uh, Dinas stuff. So let's go and see if we can find a bit more gravel to... Oh, there's, there's a gravel boulder. So it looks like um, brown gravel boulders are what we're going for right now. And maybe once we've got a tool upgrade, we'll be able to get those harder rocks. Oh, it looks like I go a lot quicker if I hold down uh, left click. I can go a lot quicker than I thought I could go with uh, with the mining. Which obviously when you're doing a lot of it will probably uh, be very handy to know. So, okay. Grinding saw number two. And then we'll head over to our machine. So what you can do is um, you cycle POIs. So if you press tab, you go onto the grinding saws, you go onto the stone trough. So you don't have to be like so precise about where you put things. Like in Porsche, you had to make sure that you that you put the grinding saws there and that you put the stone trough there. But now you just cycle through it with tab instead, which is kind of cool. Uh, so I'm going to grab my grinding saws and I'm going to grab my stone troughs. I'm going to grab my wood. So those are the three things I need. And uh, let's pop them on. So, In fact, I don't even think that I needed to do that. I don't think I even need them in my hotbar, which again is a, an improvement. I think I got used to having to do that in uh, Porsche. Okay, so grinding saws. And low quality, high quality. It doesn't matter for me because I do manual. I just have to click on the one I want and... Uh, But for me, I only have two of them, so the quality doesn't matter. But I imagine that's going to matter a lot more later on in the game. Stone trough. Oh, I could just put it to low preferred quality or high preferred quality. Confirm that. And then right click for the wood. Confirm that. And beautiful, I have my recycler. Fuel capacity 1500, sand absorption speed 1 and Q capacity of 10. Lovely. Can we put that down in my workshop? Actually, it's saying to go talk to Jan. So let's do that first. So that, uh, just in case she wants to see it or something. Whee! Hello. I'm going to need to to find all the people. Hi, new builder. I'm Jasmine. I grew up here. My ma's the mayor, but she's not here right now because mayoring is such a busy job. But that's okay. Everyone in this town is really nice. You're going to like it a lot. I know it. I read a book about builders today. I read about the legend of Victor, the first builder. He was so cool. Maybe one day I'll be one too. Um, again, like I did in the previous ones, I'm going to wait until it's um, at least in early access, if not in full release, before I do too much in the way of social. I, I don't mind doing a bit as I go along, but I'm not going to be like really worrying too much about it to start with. I will show you the social... Um, the social button though, the social tab, because it's really cool. You've got your strangers. It tells you there's 36 people to meet, which is great. So you can go into all of the strangers and look at all of them by clicking on it. Obviously there's like loads of different people that I haven't met yet. So I need to make an effort to go and meet as many as I can. It looks like you've got seven stars. Whether extra ones get added for people that you can uh, date. It looks like Mian is someone that you can date. Yan is not. Obviously, Jasmine is not. She's like six or something. Um, okay. Let's go see Yan. But yeah, it's really cool. I like it. I like the way they've organized that. I think it looks quite cute. And you can see who's in your family, who's your buddy, all that sort of thing. Hello. Hey, there you are. No, no need to show me the recycler. I'm sure it's fine. You have a builder's license, right? Besides, what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn our town to the ground? Ha 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 ha. You really, really, really are not professional. <laughs> the main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can just consult our workshop handbook and definitely not ask me anything related to building whatsoever. Yes, I'll be far, far, far too busy to handle your questions. So now that you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder, 
why don't you mosey over to City Hall and register your workshop? Normally the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda is taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. Where's the mayor? Oh, you hadn't heard she's off trying to plant things in the Eufaula Desert. Puh, didn't no one ever tell her plants need dirt to grow? Say, she's been gone for a while. I sure hope she's still alive. Well, we grew stuff in the Eufaula Desert. In Portia, with planters. Yeah, I made planters. Oh, by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away. Uh, but why would I do that when I could just recycle them to you? No need to thank me. Consider it a new employee bonus thingy. Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. <laughs> okay. Let's get it registered. So this is the Commerce Guild store. And at the moment, you can only buy stone and dinas there. So super good. Super good store. But you can sell things. Uh, show me what you got. So, you know, you can sell a power stone for five. A, a wormy squirmy for one. You can sell quartz for a couple. I could sell my pick hammer for five. So that's quite cool. Recycler goes for 26. Don't know how much it costs to buy things because uh, there's not much to buy yet, but we'll have an explore. We'll find all the shops, etc. etc. Oh, half an hour has gone already. How? Like I say, don't worry. This will be a full series. It'll be as much as I can play. I will play. Uh, okay, so let's head up to the world, to the. Uh, workshop and register it. Oh, sorry, to the city hall and register the workshop. That actually is what I mean. Oh, who are you? Oh, it's you, the new builder. I thought you were one of Logan's gang. Oh, Logan's like that guy. Ha, ah, silly me, you look nothing like an outlaw. Rude. <laughs> and your arms are so skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know, the desert isn't kind to the fragile. Hmm, it's decided I, the Magnificent Pen, Protector of Sandrock, as of five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Okay, let's do it. Splendid, let's go. Okay. <laughs> you know why I came all the way out here? To serve and protect? Because this place builds toughness. If you ain't tough, the desert will chew you up and spit you out. People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now, before we spar, you can go pick a weapon from over there. Doesn't matter which, all the same to me. When you're ready, come at me. Alright then. Um, these look awful, but never mind. So you can have a really big, slow sword. You can have a spear, which is average speed. Average speed, a uh, stone sword and shield. Or daggers. I tried daggers last time. I'm going to try a sword and shield this time. Let's see if I can... Okay, come and attack me. I won't fight back. Let me see what you can do. Yeah, this is quite slow compared to the daggers. Is that all you got? Don't tell me you skipped leg day. Okay, you can swing a weapon around. We're all very proud of you. But can you break through my defense? All opponents have a toughness rating. When you break their toughness, they'll enter a break state while they'll flinch all of your attacks. So you can see me breaking through. I'm making him flinch. And you can see those dots at the top. I can also dodge. And then. <laughs> I dodged you. I can read you like a book, skinny arms. No! I am dodgy arms. Ah! I was having fun. Well, that's cheating. Using a big, powerful attack move that I don't have yet. And this concludes the segment of my combat course titled Never Mess With Pen. I hope you learned something. I sure had fun teaching it. The first thing I would do if I were you is to go back to your work table and craft a weapon, but that's just me. Farewell, skinny arms. I don't like you. You call me skinny arms. Let's, let's go register the workshop now. 
beginning. All right. Hello, Matilda. You look a bit friendlier than Pen. Why, hello there. You must be Shelab. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of the Light, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. If you're here, that means you must have passed Jan's little audition and you're ready to register your workshop. All you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop and then we're all set. Green web, because I'm gonna call it after, after my workshop back in Porsche. There we go, all done. That'll do it. If you ever want to change your workshop name again, you can buy a rename card from the City Hall store. Congratulations, Builder. Your workshop is officially open for business in Sandrock. Whenever you're ready, you can start taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. Now, I'm not exactly known around these parts for my arithmetic, but I get like me. But I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old Mason buyers lonesome. Work hard, then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself too, don't you know? Hmm, I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights. Yay, fireside meetings! But I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to proper welcome you new builders. Oh, and you must come. It wouldn't be the same without you. See you then, and congratulations again, builder. May you bring Talisus to Sandro. Okay. So, we're going to need to make sure, because it probably won't tell me in my quests or anything. Um about yeah it's not going to tell me in my quests i don't think anywhere around there no that's just all different types of things yeah so i'm gonna have to remember tomorrow to go to the fireside meeting burgess's water shop and zeke's farm store will sell seeds once you've unlocked farming ah i wonder if the farming will still be in planters or exactly how that's going to be so there's a few people to meet i think if i meet someone i should try and uh, chat to them uh, just to get them into my book there. Ah, you're a new builder. Nice to meet you. I'm Katori. I think we'll be working together a lot in the future. I'm trying to turn Sandrock into the jewel of the desert with my Golden Goose Entertainment Extravaganza Complex. Uh, that's a mouthful. I n it needs better phrasing. Anyway, even if you have no idea what I'm talking about, drop by and have some fun. Here, a few tokens to get you started. Okay, so it looks like they maybe split the, the pub and the, the gaming centre. Like the gaming room of the pub is now its own big building sort of thing. Or the restaurant, I think it was. M Miguel. Miguel. Hello. No need for introductions, I know who you are. I'm Pastor Miguel. I guess you could say I'm the brains behind this little operation. Ahem. I trust you'll be, bring be bringing Talisa's to Sandrock and beyond. Uh, okay. I always take note of who's doing what around here. The church appreciates outstanding citizen citizen citizenry as much as anyone else. Why can't I say that word? That's awful. Um, okay. Stop saying long words that I can't pronounce. Go away. So we've got some horses. They look very much like Porsche horses at the moment, I think. Maybe a little a little bit revamped, but uh, mostly the same. Justice, hello! You must be one of the new builders. Well, Justice is my name and Justice is my game. That's right. I'm the law around these parts. Head of the Civil Corps. Yay! Logan and his gang are a slippery bunch. They've managed to stay one step ahead of our every move, but mark my words, Justice always gets his man, sooner or later. Okay, so now we have met... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 2, 4, 6, 8... 8 out of 36. <laughs> We've got a few to go yet. Arvio, hello. I'm trying to get most of the town people met. Ah, oh, you're a new builder, aren't you? Charmed, to be sure. I run by the stairs, the only general store in town. Nevertheless, I think you'll find our prices hard to beat. Oh, that's right. Matilda asked me to help you out, being new and all, and I thought of something. I think you're going to love. For the next seven days, everything in my store will be 50% off. Just for you, of course. Oh, thank you. You gave me a chair as a welcome present. Wonderful. Shall I actually chat to Pen? I don't know if... It, 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 did I did I have Pen in my in my people I know? I did, actually. But well, we can maybe get to know a bit. Aren't you glad we have a knight in this town? Saving damsels and delivering justice? Of course, I'm talking about me. I am the protector of Sandrock. Okay, so, like, are you a knight like Django is a knight? 
because you don't seem quite as humble as, as Django was, honestly. Amira. Oh, you must be one of the new builders. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Amira. I have the best selection of pottery and decors in town at the Ceramic Gate. Mason probably sold everything in his workshop when he moved out. So why don't you take this? It's my welcome gift. Yay, I got some pottery. It's getting a bit late now, though. It's half past seven. We've talked to Justice, we've talked to Amira. The barber shop. Oh, I have, I miss the Hulu Hulu's Hulu brothers. Okay, I don't think they're in. But that's Pablo, apparently. Pablo must be the barber, I guess. Guess we'll find them at some point. Lucian guards against the ever-present threat from the Duvos Empire. That was so funny that, uh, well, it was like 2019 or something, April Fools. <laughs> they were like, we're going to do my time at Duvos. And I was like, actually, oh, unsure. Hey, I'm unsure. A member of the local civil court. There are dangerous elements all around town, such as the criminal gang led by Logan or the aggressive gigglers. You should be careful. When you're out here in the desert builder, do sweat all the little details. You never know what could go wrong. Cool, and we can spar with you as well. Um I wonder if there's any like female members. But yeah, I'm gonna head back to the Commerce Guild. Oh. Looks like we've got a cutscene. Oh, hey, she love. Did you get a message from Yan saying, emergency, come now, as well? Wonder what's the emergency? Don't know, we'll have to see. Listen here, you lazy, lazy mop stick. Me and my boys have had it up to here with your excuses. Where's our lift, huh? <laughs> mop stick. <laughs> Look, Rocky, old buddy, old pal. Don't you buddy me, pal. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. First it was you had a cold, then it was your turtle being sick, and today I found out you don't even got it done. So I've got to give you a beatdown. Sorry, pal. Ah, no, wait, Rocky. Ah. Ah, I'm bringing in new people to take care of your commission. Look, here they are. Sorry, it's a bit quick for me to read this. You get the gist. Turtle was sick. Did we come at a bad time? No, no, you came at the perfect time. Mr. Rocky here is the big boss if you foul the salvage. I've just got a very special commission we should take care of right away. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few months or so. Pfft, lost in the shuffle. But now you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands. Uh, help out, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. Did you hear that, Sheila? Our first big job. See, they're up for it. What'd you say, buddy or pal? All right, Jan, against my better judgment, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Great, listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know that big looking ruins right next to Sheila's workshop? My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make a lift. Easy peasy for all. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Jan's doing his job like he's supposed to. And hey, I'm not your pal. <laughs> So Rocky is fairly um, <laughs> grateful to us, but I don't think he likes Yam very much. <laughs> if you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there, can't miss it. So we need to go to that salvage yard. Normally we charge a weekly fee for access, but here, take a one week pass. Okay, when you're done, install it for me as well. Um, Kui already drew up a diagram for the lift, so here you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sorry excuse for a builder here. <laughs> My back was hurting. <laughs> Just carry on with the excuses, Jan. Carry on with the excuses. Based on this diagram, we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to go take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Looks like we'll need to use a furnace as well. Well, we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best, G-Lab. Okay, so we have learned how to make a crane lift. Um, there is also commissions here for me, so let's have a look. Um, to make a smelting and forging, okay. Is there an easier one? Oh, five of those troughs. I reckon we could do that. And that's for Cooper. Okay. 
And uh, at the moment, we can only do one commission at a time. I have already tested that. We've got a couple of days to do it. So what I'll probably do for the rest of the episode is work a little bit on the commission. And uh, then we'll go to bed. And then next episode, which will be tomorrow, we'll uh, work on Rocky's commission as well. Hey, Owen. I don't think I've met you yet. Hmm. Oh. I not talk to you? Okay, well, I guess I'll find you another day. So, um, I don't know how many rocks I have right now. Need to go and find a few more, maybe. Let's just go and see how much... ...rock I'm going to need total. So, you need six stone per. So, I'm going to need five. I need a total of 30 stone. And I have 11 already, so we need like another 20. A wild yakmel. They, I think they're pretty... Oh, bumble ants. They're cute. I wonder if I can harvest honey off of them. They're like half ant, half bee. I am now level 3. Awesome, and I got 17 stone, so we need 30. We'll just keep on keeping on with this gravel, and I will make myself a few buckaroonies. I do like the speed of which you uh, swing that pig hammer. Oops. Ah, 30, perfect. Meow is doing the same. Doing. Spend the evening doing commissions. And then in the morning I think we can we can do the overdue crane commission. I don't think there's any massive rush on it as much as it is overdue. I mean we I think we can take a few days. Um I'll just see if there's I don't think there's any time limit on it. Yeah, there's no expiry or anything on that. We get some relationship with Rocky. I like Rocky. I can understand his irritation at uh, Yan just like promising, like, yeah, I'll get it done, I'll get it done. He's like, come on, I'm struggling here. I've got to lift all this stuff up manually and you're not doing my lift and I probably paid you for it. <sighs> so I think let's go make that. And we'll probably go and find Cooper in the morning. I think we'll uh, probably at that point leave it. I I'm going to be very, um, very good and I'm going to go to bed nice and early. So I have crafted five, and that should now be enough for my commission. Wonderful. And then, as I say, tomorrow we'll go and find the salvage yard. It's, it's actually uh, three o'clock. You pass out. It is actually already half past eleven. So for me, for me, that is good though. That's really good. So I'm going to sleep now. So I'm going to say goodbye to you all. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, this very first episode of the Sandrock demo. I'm going to carry on and try to do as much as I can. As much as the demo will allow me to do, meet as many characters as I can, etc, etc. Uh, and there will be more stuff added once it goes into proper early access, at which point we will come back to it again and then uh, play it as it develops. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see uh, more, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.